Sometimes you just have to let go. Welcome to your daily motivation and inspiration with Dan. This video is about letting go because right now lots of folks are having problems with what's going on in their lives and you know not being able to let go of old ways and even you know one of the biggest things that I'm seeing and, and hearing from my friends and anybody I'm communicating with is that they have to let go of who they were, uh, basically their identity. And uh, it's not easy. I mean, <laughs> we all have identities. We all, you know, had things we were doing a month ago that we're not doing now. Some of us were commuting to a job or uh, we were interacting with certain people and now we're not doing any of that. And man, is it ever a shakedown? <laughs> it's, it's freaky, right? It's freaking you out because you can't continue your habits. You know, like, for example, people who commute, people who go to an office or, or have a job, you know, if, if that's you, then you're used to getting up and having certain patterns, having your breakfast, your coffee and so on, getting ready, getting in the car, and then perhaps sitting in traffic and being upset. And I can almost guarantee that you're probably still getting upset at the same time every day when you, you would typically sit in traffic because that's a habit. That's an internal habit. So you have to let that go or you, I'm, I'm not going to tell you to, but I would suggest you let it go because somehow or another you're being awakened because you can't continue the same pattern. You have to create a new identity. You know, it's interesting. Years ago, I had an identity as a corporate uh, manager. And so I was, uh, I was working in, these, in this job and I was doing great. They were paying me well. But in the end, it wasn't a good fit for me. And I had to let go. And fortunately for me, I got fired for the first time in my life and I had to let go. And because I let go, I'm here today and I'm teaching and I've written books and all sorts of great things. I created a new identity for myself. So the key here is letting go. And honestly, it's as simple as, you know, if you're on a, a two or three lane road and there's somebody who's driving slow in front of you, you can go around them. You don't have to fight with them. You don't have to honk your horn, flash your lights and get upset with them. Just go around them. That's all. Just let go. And so I'm suggesting that if there are things that you're resisting today and you know, you're, maybe you're watching the news and you're wondering about you know, what's going on in the world and, and there's people that you know, maybe are uh, smoking uh, drug, uh, you know, taking drugs or, or uh, drinking alcohol and they are dying and you're concerned about that, let it go. You don't control that. What you control is your thoughts and your actions and that's all you, you should focus your attention on right now. Nothing else. Just let go of everything else and focus on who you are. Focus your, on your identity. Do some writing. Thoughts become entangled as they pass through your lips and over fingertips. So get them out. Get your thoughts out. Write them down. Speak them out. Talk to somebody about it. And let go. You know, if, if you can let go of the old you, the old ways you're doing things, and welcome this new world, because it is going to be a new world. I, I don't deny that, and, and I, I can see how that can be, because we've put up so many different barriers and change things in so many different ways and people are thinking differently now that it's going to be changed and, and it doesn't matter what has happened it's it's changing no matter what so again if you can let go let go of whatever you can stop resisting just let go think about your new identity your new life your new way what you're going to do when this is all you know changed when when the virus is lifted and things have shifted what are you going to do and how can you become a better version of yourself so I hope this helps, and if you want other videos that will help you move through this situation, go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe, and you can, uh, you can get more videos there. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.